Okay, so um, what we've done here, we're trying to restore this old hedge, it hasn't been um, laid for quite a long time. Um, so when we came to it, it had been flailed a lot and then let go for maybe five, six, seven, eight years. Um, and a lot of the growth was on these enormous um, old sycamore stools that were up on the hedge and sticking up right up like this. Um, and the growth was off the top of those. And of course you can't really lay that because it's far too high. So what we're doing, what we've done, we decided to take the long view with this hedge and we cut through a lot of the old sycamore stools right at the base through the roots and removed them. Um, and then we just laid anything that was low enough to um, form the hedge along this one side of the bank. Uh, and then the idea is to let this all grow back, maybe for five or six, seven years. Sycamore does grow quite quickly, so probably more like five or six years. Um, and then at that stage, we'll lay uh, the hedge again, and it'll be much easier because all the growth will be coming from low down from where we cut the roots. Um, and we'll be able to create a much thicker hedge, double comb, so you have a hedge on both sides with a gap in the middle. Um, and at that stage, we can then dig the soil out that's fallen down uh, where I'm standing on, take that down to ground level, put the soil back up into the middle of the bank um, and build the height of the bank back up again, uh, which is a really, really important part of managing uh, Devon hedges that often gets neglected, um, is, is that maintaining the height of the bank by casting up the soil into the middle. So sometimes people get confused between hedge laying and hedge layering and actually the process of layering is something that we use in hedge laying in some um, situations. So like for example here there was hazel that was all growing up off these two stools uh, but there was nothing at all growing in the gap here. So what we've done is we've laid the steepers down, these are the steepers, um, and in places we've dug some soil out and put the steepers down into the soil so um, what we've done is we've made little crooklets that's like a crook like this but smaller um, and then where the steeper touches the soil um, we've knocked that steeper right down into the soil and buried it and pinned it in place with the crooklet and then in the spring um, all of these dormant leaf buds can also become root buds so the one that's down here that's buried in the ground hopefully will that will that will actually root um, and it will be fed by the mother plant until it establishes its own independent root system and next time we come to lay the hedge in six seven years time there'll be a new stool growing here basically a new plant that's genetically the same as as its mother um, just down there so it's a really good way of filling gaps and hedges because when you plant little whips in hedges, generally there's a bit too much competition and they don't do very well. So this technique um, tends to be more successful.